how to write amazing SEO content using Claude Sonnet 3.7. This tool is phenomenal for content copywriting. This is surpasses Claude Sonnet 3.5, which was the preferred tool for copywriting for a lot of people. This is gonna be a couple of steps in order to do this correctly. We're going to research the topic. We're going to prepare a prompt that I'll give you for free. I'll let you know in the video descriptions where you can get that. You're going to add your experience throughout the prompt. This is gonna make your content really niche and specific and something that you can only provide making it really good from an SEO perspective. And obviously, as always, we're going to polish the content. You shouldn't just trust these things blindly. We're gonna get started right away. Of course, you need a account with Claude AI, and we're gonna make sure that you've got access to Claude Sonnet Normal. For this, we don't need extended thinking. That's kind of overkill, and I found that that doesn't actually improve the writing. That is for more difficult math and coding challenges. We're using it for content copywriting, so Claude Sonnet 3.7 with normal thinking is more than enough. We don't wanna go straight and write the content right away. We need to do some research because Claude doesn't have access to the internet, at least as of the time of this recording. So we want to provide it with the research of the content that we are writing about. Something really interesting and easy to do is use perplexity for this. You're going to use perplexity and the deep research option. I've already done the research here, but I'm going to do this again so I can show you this live. What you're gonna to go to is perplexity. You need to make sure you've got an account. You don't need a paid account for this, but we're gonna select the deep research component. I believe you have three free deep research searches per day. That is difficult to say, I'm sorry, which is more than enough for what we need to do. So I'm gonna place the search in here and let's go through this together so we understand the content that we're writing about. Provide me with some research to understand what the AI developments will have on the marketing workforce, particularly the evolving, imp the evolving improvements. It seems like there are new AI models emerging every week. I want to know how someone can take advantage of this position and position themselves effectively for a good career in the AI space. I would like to see the best resources to learn AI for free and understand where the future of marketing and digital marketing look like. Additionally, I want to know uh, how someone can leverage these AI tools to ensure they're well positioned. Right? A bit repetitive, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to click deep research. And by the end, we're going to have a file which we can then give to Claude. So that's step number one. Whilst that research is going, I want you to click on the resources below and you'll be able to see this prompt. All you need is to copy this prompt because you won't have access to edit it, but you can copy it. You have a view option. You're going to file and make a copy or you can just make a brand new document. You're going to paste the prompt in there and we need to amend one thing and that is highlighted in green so you can see this easier. We're going to place in the primary keyword. I've already done a little bit of keyword research here already. I know that the main keyword for this article should be AI in marketing and that is it. Now this prompt has told has told Sonnet 3.7 to follow a specific structure and follow a specific tone of voice. If you don't like that tone of voice, then I suggest you amend this section here. For the most part, I'm just asking it to write in a casual, sophisticated, but confident tone. And I found that this really works for me and for my tone of voice. So with that selected, you're going to copy the whole prompt and we're going to go back to Claude. We're going to paste that here. We're not going to hit enter yet. We're going to go back to perplexity and the research is now finished. And you can see that at the bottom here, after all this research, which is high quality and up to date, we can export into a PDF. If the PDF export doesn't work, sometimes it's a little bit funky. Don't worry, just export it as a MD file. That stands for markdown file. So with a prompt placed in there. We're going to just drop that new PDF file in there. Now for a little extra oomph and pizzazz and making sure that Claude writes well, what you can do, although this will probably write it very well, is use a negative keyword list, meaning a list of keywords and phrases that you don't like the AI to use. You should, or I recommend that you have a list of your own. For example, in our uh, online community, AI Ranking, we've got a pre-made negative keyword list. And that's this one here under prompts, AI Ranking SEO prompts, negative keyword phrases. You can place this as a TXT file in there. 
You can place this as a in a Google Doc and you can download this as a text file. I recommend you download it as a file because we want to give that to Claude as well. So we're going to go to Claude and now we're going to go to negative keyword list text file. And now you should have in total three assets that we're going to give Claude. That is the prompt, the negative keyword list, and most importantly, the research. We're gonna hit enter and it's not going to write right away. It's gonna actually ask you some questions. It is extremely important that you answer these questions to the best of your abilities. Sometimes it'll go ahead and write without ask, without asking you the questions. Tell it to stop and make sure to ask you these set of questions. This will make your blog post even better and high quality. Let's read the questions that it should ask you. Do you have any personal experience or insights in AI marketing that you would like me to integrate to the post? This makes it extremely niche and something that you can only write. Can you confirm the target audience of this blog post and which specific perspective would you like to add to the post? And if you want to change the word length and word count, although it doesn't really matter, you can do so. So we're going to answer that right right away by telling it, I do have some personal experience in AI marketing, particularly with SEO. We use it not only to read the data from Google Search Console to make data-driven approaches, but we also use it to upscale our content production whilst maintaining high quality content. This allows us to rank for longer tail keywords a lot quicker. The target audience is small business owners trying to do their own SEO and learn how to use AI tools to leverage this. And I want to take the perspective that this is the best time for small businesses to try and learn these tools to give themselves the competitive edge against their competitors and not stay behind. The word count is fine at 2000 words. Perfect. So now it should go and write everything. And you want to make sure that it already is integrating that research that we found from the PDF. Let's make sure that it's the same research and it's not just making up URLs. But this one here is Salesforce Einstein AI, for example. And if we take a look at this URL, we want to verify that it's true. And it is in fact true. And it is a blog post that was written not too long ago. So I'm happy to integrate that within my blog post. Let's go back and see how Claude has been doing. You can see that it integrated a table. I've asked it to do that throughout the prompt to add some variety to the content so it's not so word heavy. Now let's take a look back here. Perfect, this looks pretty good. I'm going to copy this whole thing and understand the word count. Although again, like I said, that doesn't really matter, but that is okay. Tools, word count, and I've got 1,449. I'm happy with that. I don't need to force it to write an extra 500 words for the sake of it. It's really important. People fascinate and get obsessed over word count. It doesn't really matter. Longer uh, blog post isn't necessarily going to equivalent to a better blog post. But I can see that it looks really, really good, even with a table, and I'm happy with how it's formatted. Let's read the first sentence, and then we can see if you're happy with the tone of voice. Again, if you don't like it, you just need to change it in the prompt. Let's cut through the hype. AI and marketing isn't just for the big plays with massive budgets. As someone who's been in the trenches using AI for SEO and content creation, I can tell you firsthand, this is the golden opportunity small business owners have been waiting for. I love how it writes, but I've worked on that prompt and you can have it. That's the tone of voice there. Fantastic. So all I need to do now is go to the back end of my website and paste that in there. What I want to do as well is make sure that everything is done appropriately. Depending on the CMS or website builder that you have, you might have to make sure that you make the tables yourself or you can ask Claude to create the tables in simple HTML, which you then inject. It all depends on the CMS, so I'm going to leave this kind of website builder agnostic. I want to go through that blog post and make sure that I'm happy with it. Whenever you see fit, make sure that you add a relevant video or a relevant image like I've done here so far. This is going to polish and add more variety to the content. One other thing that I would include or encourage you to have is make sure that you have a backlink to another place of your website, whether that's a content pillar page, like your services pages, or another blog post that makes sense for you to link. 
In this instance, for example, I've got a section that says here, common worries and why they shouldn't stop you. One classic common worry that I see from uh, AI from business owners, which is true, AI tools cost too much for my small business and this is absolute garbage. Many AI tools have extremely affordable tier pricing, yada, yada. I go to explain a couple of these tools and I mentioned DeepSeek R1. Guess what? I've already written a post about DeepSeek R1. I'm gonna make sure that I'm linking to that post that I've already written. Therefore, this post is already linking internally. Fantastic. The last thing that you wanna do, once you have content written here, for example, all you wanna ask is Claude to generate a highly optimized meta description in the same tone of voice and make sure it's less than 150 characters in length. Once you do that, it should take a little while and write you a meta description, something that you don't want to miss out. And here's the meta description. Discover how small businesses can use AR marketing tools to analyze data, scale content, outrank competitors, no tech degree needed. I like it, that's kind of straight to the point. Once you've finished and you're happy, you should come out with a blog post that sounds very natural, that is out, that is linking to the correct sources that Perplexity found for us, even has a few tables to expand and make the content a little bit more varied, is interlinking to other places on your website. And it's just overall high quality research. And I get the some comments say, well, you only took five minutes to do research, so it can't be high quality. Welcome to the world of AI. Things are done a lot quicker, get used to it, right? This is extremely high quality. I've read it a couple of times. I'm really happy with what it wrote. There's a couple of key components that I want to make sure I hammer in to you. You need to research the topic. You need to prepare the prompt. And for the love of God, please, you can add some experience to that. That's what's going to differentiate this blog post against anyone else's using the same strategy. And let me show you what it did here. I added, I told it to add the fact that I use this for SEO to um, read the data for me and write content a lot more. So, and it created that section that says the real deal, how we use AI for SEO. And that's something that no one else can really replicate because that's my own advice. This is what makes this thing so incredible. And you can see within a number of minutes, I've created a blog post that I'm really happy about. I hope you found this useful. Again, all of the resources will be in the video description below. Make sure you subscribe and follow along because tomorrow or sometime this week, we'll create another video on how to create an SEO strategy using Claude Sonnet 3.7, feeding in the right SEO data and kind of doing the majority of the hard thinking for you. Again, make sure you like this video so that more people can be, so that more people can learn how to use these tools for SEO. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.